Why buy the cow when you can get the milk from something totally different? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now it seems like the alternatives to cow milk are endless. Just when you think there's no more plants or grains or nuts to be milked, here comes another one. Ha 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 ha. So, how are we supposed to know which of the myriad options is best for your cereal? or your coffee, or your daily milk bag. Gotta have well, that. Well, simple. You ask your own personal mythical crew to go get all of them for a definitive taste test. So that's exactly what we did. It's time for Not All Milk Comes From An Udder, but which makes us drool like the gorgeous Paul Rudd, er. Gorgeous, huh? Yeah, he's so gorgeous. They made you, they, they, they like to put words in hey, our listen, mouths. I can recognize the, when a man is attractive. Yeah, but, but, but they put the words in your mouth. No, no, I specifically made a call to the writers and say, hey, can you work gorgeous Paul Rudder into something? Yeah. We've all done, we've all done, <laughs> actually we've done all sorts of stuff with milk alternatives in the past. We've guessed uh, the nut milk, we've tried strange animal milks, we've even tried Jim Baker's apocalypse milk. Love you, we, Jim. But we've never no. done this, <laughs> the gorgeous Jim Baker, but we've <laughs> never done the service of determining which milk alternative is best for specific occasions. Until today. So we're gonna be blindly tasting soy, almond, rice, and oat milks, plus a wild card milk per round okay. that changes just to keep things spicy, but not spicy, milky. Yeah. And we're gonna be trying those in each round in a different culinary context so that we will say what our favorite is, and then Stevie will tell us what our favorite is. Yes. Because we wouldn't have known. It's really a service to us. Yeah. Okay, we're starting with cereal. We're all excited, and we're, of course, we're doing what we determined to be the best cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh-huh. Uh, each got our own little bowls here. This, this milk is already cinnamon, but it's a browner milk. I mean, Cinnamon Toast Crunch has a lot of flavor. Yeah, so it's, it's actually staying out of the way. This, one's, this one seems to be a... I don't dislike that a at all. A whiter milk. It's thicker. That mm. milk's bringing more to the table. Interesting that you, that's how you feel about this one. You don't think it's thicker? I was gonna say it's thinner. Neither one of them are bringing much to the table in terms of taste, which. Now this one is clearly, number three is clearly the thin. thinnest. That's some watery milk. Not loving that. I mean, I'm not really hating anything when you're giving me Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but. This has the most milk-like quality to it, from, from my eye. Maybe it's just the distance that we are from it. Ooh, it's, it's, it's bringing a taste to the party. Man, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is so good. It's not, I'm not gonna go back in here. I'm okay. gonna go to the last one. I'll let you do that. You wanna one. try that? I'll be over here. Oh, th this one's got almost a gelatinous, almost a yogurt-like quality to it. You think? Maybe this is the wild card. No, oh, that's coconut milk. You think it's coconut? I believe so. I don't love it. Hmm. Okay, so. I gotta go back here right quick, y'all. Yep. Okay, so remember, you're gonna be picking your favorite. You're not even trying to guess what's yeah. what. Mm -hmm. And if you both pick the same favorite, we got a little oh. little surprise for you. A little surprise? Yeah. I love, I love surprises. Huh. All right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you a three, two, I, one. There's a clear winner in my mind. Uh, it's pretty close to two, but I've, but I've got one that I think is the best. Three, two, one. Wha-bang! <laughs> Up, oh, nope, we, so we don't agree, we don't get the prize. Both of these were pretty good to me. Okay. Do you know, do you think you know what they are? Yeah, number one's gotta be oat milk. Number two oh, is, two oat, is milk. oat milk. Yeah. What's number, number one? Number one is soy milk. Yeah, you're, really? You're a soy yeah. boy, he's a soy boy. And then the that. other ones, uh, we have rice milk, almond mm. milk, and the yeah. last one is flax. Oh, really? There's not, so there wasn't a coconut milk? No. Flax. Flax did not taste good. But I think all four of these were, what do you say this is rice? Yeah. Rice is uh, a little too thin. Mm-hmm. A little too thin. I'm a soy boy. He's a soy boy. I definitely take milk in my coffee. Well, I take half and half, but I will take milk. I'll take whatever I can get. And, uh, cause I don't like it black. How are we gonna, are you gonna cream me or? Or I'll, milk I'll, me. I'll cream. Don't. I'll cream you, but I'm going to cream myself more than I cream you because I like it. I like more. Yeah, you give me a little less, 
I'll tell so you. Like this is the good for well, you, right there. A little more. Like that much? I take more yeah. milk than I take. Well, I'd like to. I like to see it. Well, I think when you That's mix it, thing. I'm gonna whoop for you and whoop, whoop for me. For me, and I'm gonna whoop whoop gonna for whoop you. Whoop for you, and I'm gonna whoop, whoop for me. For me. Oh, this is. And fun. I'm gonna whoop whoop for you, and I'll do a little stirry stir. Okay. I'm still not happy with the coloring, but it's, of the, but this. it's not the cream's fault. You could do a little bit. Yeah, of, it's your fault. You could do a little bit of milk, and it just discolors the whole thing. Oh gosh, that's not good. That's bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to isolate it to the cream. You know, you can pour some more in there, but there's not any. I mean, I poured it all in here, and I still can't tell a difference. It's just not. Yeah, the, they haven't figured this one out yet. It's not. In terms of just milk replacement for, for your coffee. I mean, I guess you can just go with a non-dairy creamer, but I just, I had high hopes that one of these would really well, stand out. This is significantly better than the first one. That first one is just awful it's on just, all kinds yeah, of levels. Not... Well, I mean, you're really going for it. I mean, what about me? <laughs> what do I want anymore? You said you liked it. Do you want some more? <laughs> I mean, one of us has to really okay. know. I feel like I recognize what this is. You can drink I, out of this one. This is, I don't know, it's familiar to me. And it's not good. Oh, God, none of this is good. There's too much flavor in this one. It's impacting the flavor of the coffee. This is actually complementing the coffee thus far. It's my fave. The third one, huh? The second one. Mm-hmm. Okay, this oh. isn't doing much either. This, no, is, this I'm tasting, isn't bad. I'm tasting mostly coffee. Well, yeah, I put a lot more in this one. Do you want to taste this one? No. I mean, you didn't put that much more. It's almost the exact same color. Mm. And then finally, I'll give you a little bit more and then. Okay. okay. That's not bad either. Damn. So the second, the fourth, and the fifth are the ones I'm narrowing it down to. What? Third is horrible. Yeah, the third is horrible. I, I like these two. Hmm. Okay, whoa, that was not easy. This is not easy. I'm, I'm a I just bit... said that it's not easy. Yeah, he's agreeing with me. Three. Do we agree on our choice? Two, one. Bam. Yep, that one. Oh, we guys, agree. Guys, you get to mosh with alternative Michelle. Both of you, go do it. Go now. Oh. <laughs> God, that's just as horrible an experience as I remember it in college. I didn't do it in college. My, that's the first time I've ever moshed. My okay. foot got did stepped on four times. Did I do good? So, yeah, you did You did great. So you, you both chose the same one. What do you think that is? Uh, oat. You are correct. That yeah. is oat milk. Yeah, yeah. It was the it, it, the thickness of the oat g gives it a fighting chance. And I would have said, and I think you would have agreed that if you don't do milk, oat would be your preference. But you didn't say, so I can't agree. Right. But this one's awful. So what? Well, well, let's you, just go so the first one you said was awful is rice milk. Bad. Yeah, bad. The second is almond milk. This, not bad. Oh, not bad. The third is but not great. Hemp milk. Hemp milk Hemp. is not, you know, you don't need that in your coffee. And, and look, it's like coagulating. The last one is the soy milk. Soy milk wasn't bad. It actually got down to... I still, it must be a soy boy. The oat and the soy for me, it wasn't huh. a clear winner. I just kind of chose this one. But don't put hemp in your coffee. Quick reminder, the Mythical Kitchen has dropped a brand new episode of their new series, Last Meals where Josh invites people to ponder life, death, and existential crises as he serves them their final feast. They had 24K Golden on there, so go tune in and let them know what guest you wanna see on there next talking about the last meal. I love that show, not just because I was on it. You were on it. Um, and you will be on it, right? But then um, you have to die afterwards. Oh, it seems scary. Okay, a few years ago, we taste tested chocolate chip cookies dunked in nut milks and uh -huh. I, you know what? I'm glad I'm reminded of this stuff because I had no idea that my favorite was macadamia nut uh, milk, followed by pea milk, what and you like mine? cashew. Oh, really? Now the only nut milk on the table right now is almond. So this is a basically okay. clean slate for us. These are not the most breakable cookies. They're definitely in need of dunking, which is a good test. This looks like milk. I mean, it's the right color. It's not a bad cookie. 
the milk or whatever that is doesn't get in the way of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna dunk the other end That's of the same one. Yeah. This milk is the same color as your shirt. It it almost yeah, looks like chocolate that. milk. What the heck? I was must, like, I'm not coming in today unless you can get milk the same color as my tan shirt. This has to be the wild card. What the heck is I'm a the, very demanding such person. a dark alternative milk? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It tastes like fish. Ew. It does taste like fish. That's it tastes like fish oil. What is that? It's probably hemp. No, they've already done they don't give us the same wild card. No. I I Maybe it's just straight marijuana. It smells like algae. It's like algae milk. Yeah, that's it's, that's it's, real bad. It might be algae milk. Dolphin milk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dolphins got teats. Yeah, man. Whale milk. This one's yellow. I don't love the color of it. I don't know if it's coming through to your screen, but That's pretty tasty for me. Hmm. I like that one. Yeah, it's you like it. The milk. It yeah, it's good because it it doesn't taste like fish. <laughs> After that fish milk. Yeah, because the cookies are so good. This one's super thin. I'm just asking for the milk to not get in the way, but I'm asking for it to soak up into it and soften it a little bit. I don't like the consistency of this, but the taste is great. There's not really a taste. Is that just the cookie I'm tasting and enjoying? Yeah, you're just enjoying the cookie. Now this one out here is a little tan as well. Yeah, we got that tan milk happening. It's, it's not brown. Though. Laying out in the sun. I would say, I'd call it khaki. It's khaki. And you know what? This milk sticks to the cookie in a nice way. It looks like it's been dipped. Got a nice little coating. Kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Not a lot of flavor. But again, as process, long as you don't mess up the cookie. Process of elimination. This one's definitively awful. Good gracious it is. This one's like water. So for me, yeah. we're in one. See, because if I go, I'm looking at the, the clingability of one. This, is, this looks like regular milk. And then if I look at the clingability of, the clingability of three is better, but five seems to have the most clingability. Those two guys. Hmm. Dipping their cookies in the milk. I just dropped a piece of cookie and it went into my shoe. I actually think it went into my sock. I'm gonna be walking around with a cookie sock. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's a lot of clingability in five. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, man. All right, we gotta make a decision, right? The train's leaving the station. Here we All right. go. I got an answer. Three, two, one. Whoa! It was close for me. It came down to three and five for me, but I went with five because of the clingability. Okay, well, it looks like we have two soy boys because uh, number five is soy milk. Uh, um, you have be a soy boy now. The milk link chose is oat milk, so that's pretty consistent yeah, it, I mean, as well. Oat and soy They're are rising to, to the, the top. top. Oh, look at, can hey, we get Mucho to come out right, and watch for that? Just leave now. Unison. So the milk that tasted like fish, I guess. Yeah, what is, is that? Um, chia seed milk. I don't uh, know why it would taste like. Oh, that. Because, I love uh, chia uh, pudding. Omega three, Stevie. Oh, it's omega three go. oils you get from fish oil, but you also get it from chia, and so it's that really oily, nasty mm. fish oil taste that is just bad. And then the first one that so you guys strong. didn't mind again was almond milk, <laughs> almond and milk. then the one you thought was too thin. It's rice milk. Yeah, the rice milk. We know rice milk is a loser, but almond milk, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think you're a loser too now. Oh, yeah, you haven't won anything. All right, now we got pancakes in front of us. They've each been made with a milk alternative. Uh, let's not use syrup. Or utensils. Or utensils, yeah. And just, cause, just have the unadulterated pancake. I don't know why I was biting it so slowly. Hey, you never know what's in a pancake. Boy, that's a bland cake. But I'm, th I'm thinking about like the consistency. Mm -hmm. the I got nothing to compare it to at this juncture. I mean, it, oh yeah. wow, this is, I don't know, this feels different to me. This one's a little fluffier. Same I would say, I would say more floppability to me, less, less cakiness. It doesn't taste as good. But it doesn't taste as good. No, it doesn't. The flavor I, has been influenced. I didn't by, think I was gonna be able to tell, but. It definitely doesn't taste good. Now this looks like, this is the first one that looks just like a normal pancake to me. Not as much floppability. I think that might just be, it's a little more cooked. 
because there's a little bit of variability in the nature of the cooking. But that, tastes my friend, good. is a, has the porousness that I'm looking for. It tastes good. And I'm really tasting the, the, the pancake. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, you still chopping on that one? Go ahead. This one's just weird looking. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, it's real thick, Daddy. It's tasty, though. No, not to me. Well, it's tasty, but the consistency's not quite there. It's got a stronger flavor. I'm a little confused between I do not two. like it as well. No, this is hard. Oh, no, this is floppy. No, see, it's just all about which one you get. You got the top one. Get the bottom one, you get some floppiness, yeah, okay. Mmm. You really gotta try hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Very bland, just as bland as number one. I disagree. I disagree. Wasn't number two? I think that tastes pretty good. Okay, I'm ready to vote. I'm just going on flavor here. Hmm. Which is, this is a little bit of a curveball for me. Three, you don't know what any of them are. Two, one. I'm saying this is, the consistency is not quite what I expect, but I like the flavor the most. I like this flavor. Okay, this subtle. so surprising to me about Link's choice because that's actually rice milk. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then Rhett chose the soy milk. Yeah, I'm a soy boy. So that I think makes I just sense. like pancake mix, unadulterated. So basically, I'm used to just having pancakes made with water. Yeah. Which the, you can do. The other ones are oat, almond, and then our wild card is macadamia. So the one that was interesting ah, tasting. It, it, it was interesting. Yeah, it, was, it brings more flavor, but not the flavor not the that right I'm looking one. for. Wow. Mm. So, well, you became a rice man. You really th we had a soy I'm not claiming it, it though. We had a soy boy thing going and you I'm, completely I'm screwed up. I'm not claiming it. The thing about soy is that I've never given it a thought. But it's the original alternative milk. And I think that we've written it off for that reason. Like, oh, clearly they've advanced past soy milk. There's also like this estrogen thing going on. If you if you like if you if you drink way too much soy, then there's estrogen level issues. I think that there's they're doing studies on that. I don't know if there's definitive information about that. No, yet, there's not. But I think we're we're oat we're oat and soy boys pretty much across the board, except for when you do pancakes, you like rice. <laughs> but hey, we learned nope, something today. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that. I'm not a rice pancake man. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that soy. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Joe Kim. And we're doing a chocolate milk taste test. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Hmm. Well, that looks tastier than what we just did. <laughs> we could do that now, but we're not. That's right. Click the top link to find out which milk actually makes the best milk mustache <laughs> in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. What's the craziest thing on your bucket list that you want to do before you die? I want to shoot a music video in outer space. <laughs> That's rad, dude. Yeah.